Also news at this hour on embattled New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Some state lawmakers tonight moving to strip him of his emergency powers granted during the pandemic. Here's Stephanie Ramos. He promoted himself as the face of competent leadership in the pandemic. We are New York tough. But tonight, the New York State Legislature voting to strip Governor Andrew Cuomo of the emergency powers he was granted to handle COVID. This governor's inability to see outside of his own ego cannot continue to go unchecked. It came as the New York Times reported the governor's staff rewrote a report in June, taking out the fact that more than 9,000 New Yorkers had already died in nursing homes. Today, the governor's office said the number was removed because it had not been verified. It's just one of the scandals Cuomo is facing. Two former aides now accusing him of sexual harassment. He is a textbook abuser. Charlotte Bennett says the governor asked her about her sex life, whether she was monogamous, and whether she had ever slept with an older man. She spoke with CBS News. He wanted a girlfriend. When he said he was lonely, I mentioned that his daughters had been around, and he also rejected that and said, yeah, I love my, I love my daughters, but that's, I want a girlfriend. I thought, he's trying to sleep with me. The governor's trying to sleep with me. And I'm deeply uncomfortable and I have to get out of this room as soon as possible. Cuomo says Bennett misinterpreted him. I now understand that I acted in a way that made people feel uncomfortable. It was unintentional and I truly and deeply apologize for it. And David, Charlotte Bennett says it's not a matter of how she felt, but of what he did. She says, quote, it is an issue of his actions. The fact is that he was sexually harassing me and has not apologized for that. David. All right, Stephanie Ramos. Steph, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.